hello friends welcome back to my channel innovation NC. so in this video we are going to see the working of this kind of uh, build dc motor or uh, brazil motor so before starting this video please uh, like and share, subscribe to my channel and uh, also watch the whole video for more information so first uh, we have to see this uh, build dc motor which is uh, basically used in the cooling purpose like in the cpu or uh, smps and uh, if we look inside this motor it's uh, basically based on a hall sensor and uh, the hall sensor uh, is on the pcb it's a four pin uh, hall sensor and uh, the working of this kind of a motor basically it detects the poles of the magnet around the fan which is inside the coil in, uh, and uh, accordingly the switches the coils so that the fan rotates uh, continuously and uh, it have uh, just two wires for powering this motor it be like this it's a 12 volt battery if uh, you connect the motor and it's start rotating and uh, we want to control the speed of this uh, kind of motor so we don't uh, have to control because uh, it, it doesn't have a controlling feature so on the other hand uh, we see this kind of uh, VLDC motor which is basically used in the making of a drone or uh, RC cars it has uh, three wires so inside the motor a lot of coils poles uh, and uh, basically this motor have uh, three coils connecting the star configuration and uh, this motor requires a uh, very complex speed controller circuit which is also called uh, ESC and uh, it will look in the pins of the this circuit so the three wires of this uh, ESC will goes to the motor three wires and uh, on the other hand uh, the two wires connect to the power supply pin and uh, the three wires uh, which connect to the servo tester or uh, any kind of uh, speed controller circuit so let's see how the working of this motor is done so for this we have to connect the three wires to this uh, ESC and uh, for controlling this uh, motor I have uh, 8 mega 8 based circuit and uh, potentiometer for controlling the speed and uh, now I'm connecting this uh, signal wire to the uh, like this and uh, the orange wire is the signal wire and the red wire is for 5 volt and the side wire is for ground so using this ESC we have to power uh, the module so don't uh, we don't require any kind of extra supply for this circuit now i'm going to connect this to the 12 volt from my power supply like uh, the crown to crown and the 12 volt to the 12 uh, positive vcc supply to the esc so like this and uh, if i turn on my power supply Uh, first the uh, motor beeps for three times it means the motor is calibrated so first you have to as you hear the sound from motor it's a uh, beep three times that means the uh, EC is calibrated with this uh, controller and if I slowly rotate the potentiometer like this the motor is start rotating and uh, if I slowly increase the potentiometer, the speed of this motor also increases. So that's the basic working on this uh, motor. You can also use the servo tester instead of my circuit. So these kind of uh, motors have a very high RPM and uh, also torque so that's why this motor basically used in the making of the drones so the both motors uh, are better at their own uh, places like this kind of motor used in the making of the drones but uh, this kind of motor 
used basically for long term and uh, for cooling purpose because it's uh, consumption current consumption very low and the power also very low but this motor requires a lot of uh, high power and uh, so that's for today and uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your friends thanks for watching